Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. In this training video, I will cover the module Utilize Microsoft Defender Vulnerability Management in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The key topics covered in this module are Describe Vulnerability Management in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, where we will explore that how do we uh, do the vulnerability management through the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The identify vulnerabilities on the devices with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is the next topic. And finally, track emerging threats in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future updates. The threat and vulnerability management, also referred as TVM, in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint helps the organizations to identify, assess, and remediate the vulnerabilities and misconfigurations that could be exploited by the attackers. The Defender Vulnerability Management continuously scans the devices, both the connected and disconnected, from the corporate network. It uses the built-in and agentless scanners for this. These scanners detect the vulnerabilities and security risks providing a comprehensive view of potential threats and enabling the proactive risk management. By monitoring the security posture across all the devices, the threat and vulnerability management can mitigate the attacks before they exploit the vulnerabilities. Well, what are the different options that we can configure? Let us explore the vulnerabilities on the devices. The Vulnerability Management Navigation pane in Defender for Endpoint provides a structured view for the organization's security posture, offering the tools to manage and mitigate these vulnerabilities as well. Here is a brief explanation of each of these sections. Number one is the dashboard. The dashboard provides a single pane of glass. This provides an overview of your organization's security posture. It highlights any critical vulnerabilities, ongoing assessments, and the trends. It gives you a quick glance at the health of your devices and the areas that requires the immediate attention. Next is recommendation. This section offers the actionable insights on vulnerabilities and weaknesses that should be addressed. It presents the prioritized recommendations based on the severity of the risk. This helps security teams to focus on the most critical issues first. Next is remediation. This area provides the options for remediating the uh, vulnerabilities. You can track the progress of remediation efforts. You can apply patches, update configurations, and monitor the effectiveness of the mitigation actions to ensure that the risks are properly addressed. The inventory pane allows the list of all the softwares and devices within the organizations. This allows you to identify which systems and applications are vulnerable. This helps you maintain an up-to-date view of assets and ensures that no device or application goes unchecked. The weaknesses pane highlights the security flaws or the gaps within the environment. These could be related to the configuration issues, outdated softwares or vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. This section is vital for identifying the areas that could be exploited by the attackers. The event timeline provides a chronological view of all the events related to the vulnerabilities, including the detections, remediations, and the status changes. It helps you track the life cycle of the vulnerabilities and the actions that are taken. This provides full visibility into how risks are managed over the time. The baseline assessment evaluates your environment against the established security baselines, which are the predefined configurations and the best practices. These best practice patterns are used to define a baseline for the Defender for Endpoint. The section helps you measure the compliance of your devices and the software to ensure they meet the security standards and the risk is minimized. These sections together give a comprehensive approach to identify, assess, and remediate the vulnerabilities within your environment. 
This helps you to enhance the overall security and reduce the attack surface. When it comes to the remediation steps, we take the remediation steps by selecting a particular recommendation. Then we submit a request and view or we review these requests. Well, this brings to the end of this module on the vulnerability management in the Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint. Next, you will see in the video a lab demonstration of mitigating the threats using the Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint where I will show you how to deploy the Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint, onboarding the devices, discovering these devices and then mitigating the attacks using the Defender 4 endpoint. The all different things that I have discussed throughout these videos of this learning path will be covered with a practical demonstration of Defender 4 endpoint. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for the future updates. Thank you.